going over how to convert, compare, and subtract mixed customary units. Let's look at the first question. It says to subtract and express the answer in the simplest form. In this case, it's asking for how many gallons and how many pints minus two gallons and two pints equals one gallon and zero pints. Let's start with the gallons. How many gallons minus two equals one? How many gallons minus two equals one? We add two to both sides. X equals three. Three gallons minus two gallons equals one gallon. Let's enter our three. Now let's look at the pints. How many pints minus two pints equals zero pints? Add two to both sides of the equation. And x equals two pints. And we add the two. Three gallons minus two gallons equals one gallon. Two pints minus two pints equals zero pints. Let's look at the next question. How many pints and how many quarts? Cups? Cups minus one cup equals nine pints and zero cups. Let's start with the pints. How many pints minus zero pints equals nine pints. How many pints minus zero equals nine? Well, we know if you're subtracting zero, the answer is simply the same number. So x equals nine. Let's enter that in. Now let's do the cups. How many cups minus one cup equals zero cups. Add one to both sides, and you have x equals one. Nine pints minus zero pints equals nine pints. One cup minus one cup equals zero cups. Let's do the next one. Seven pints and zero cups minus how many pints and how many cups equals two pints and zero cups. Again, let's break this out into parts. So let's start with the pints. Seven pints minus an unknown amount equals two pints. We know that seven minus five is two. Let's enter that answer. Now let's look at the cups. Zero cups minus how many cups equals zero cups. Well, zero minus zero is zero. So let's enter that. Seven pints minus five pints is two pints. Zero cups minus zero cups is zero cups. Let's look at the next question. How many pounds and how many ounces plus four pounds and five ounces equals four pounds and nine ounces? Let's separate it out again. Let's start with the pounds. How many pounds plus four pounds equals four pounds? We know that zero plus four is four. So let's add a zero here. Let's do the ounces now. How many ounces? plus five ounces equals nine. We know that four plus nine is five. So we can enter a four there. Let's check each section. Zero pounds plus four pounds equals four pounds. Four ounces plus five ounces equals nine ounces. Next question. How many yard and how many feet plus two yards and one foot equals seven yards? and one foot. <clears throat> Let's break it down. How many yards 
plus two yards equals seven yards. We know that five plus two is seven. Next, let's look at the feet. How many feet plus one foot equals one? We know that zero feet plus one feet equals one foot. Five yards plus two yards is seven yards. Zero foot plus one foot is one foot. Next question. How many quarts plus how many cups? <clears throat> how many quarts and how many cups plus three cups equals two quarts and three cups? Let's break it out again. We'll start with the quarts. How many quarts plus two quarts sorry, zero quarts equals two quarts. We know that two plus zero equals two. Let's enter that in. Next, let's look at the cups. How many cups plus three cups equals three cups? We know that zero plus three is three. Let's double check our answer. Two quarts plus zero quarts equals two quarts. Zero cups plus three cups equals three cups. Next question. Two gallons and four cups plus how many gallons and how many cups equals two gallons and 12 cups? Let's start with the gallons. Two gallons plus how many gallons equals two gallons? We know that two plus zero is two. Now the cups. Four cups plus how many cups equals 12. We know that four plus eight equals 12. Let's double check our answer. Two gallons plus zero gallons equals two gallons. Four cups plus eight cups equals 12 cups. Let's look at the next question. How many gallons and how many quarts equals 26 quarts? In this question, they'd like us to convert and express the answer in the simplest form. For this question, we need to know how many quarts are in a gallon? And then we can convert. There are four quarts in a gallon. If we have 26 quarts, we need to know how many groups of four quarts we have. So let's break that out, 26. And we're gonna divide by four and find out how many groups of four we have. We take four out of 26, left with twenty-two. We take another four out, left with eighteen. Another four, fourteen. Another four. And one more four, six. So how many fours did we take out? And we were left with two at the very end. One, two, three, four, five, six fours. 26 divided by four erase that and do that again so you can see it a little nicer. 26, let's break out our fours. Four, 22 minus four is 18, minus four is 14, minus four is 10, minus four is six, minus four, and that leaves us with a remainder of two. 
So let's look at the groups of four. We have one, two, three, four, five, six groups of four go into 26. So we know that there are six gallons. How many quarts were left over though? We had a remainder of two. So that means we have a remainder of two quarts. To double check this, we can go backwards and we can take six times four quarts in a gallon equals 24 quarts. Plus the extra two quarts left over gives us 26. 26 quarts is equivalent to six gallons and two quarts. Another one, just like that, 108 fluid ounces. Is that greater than, less than, or equal to three cups and two fluid ounces? Let's convert the bottom one, three cups and two fluid ounces to ounces, and then we can compare. In order to compare, we have to have the same unit of measure. Here we have ounces, here we have cups and ounces. So let's start by converting our three cups and two fluid ounces to ounces. So how many ounces are in one cup? Well, that's eight. So to start, we have three cups. Times eight ounces per cup gives us 24 ounces. Another way to think about this is if there's three cups and each cup has eight ounces, then you have eight, eight, eight. One cup, two cups, three cups for a total of 24 ounces plus the extra two fluid ounces here leaves us with a total of 26 fluid ounces. Now we have the same unit of measure so we can compare. Well, we know that 108 is definitely bigger than 26. So we'll use the greater than. Last question. We're gonna do the same thing. We're going to convert our units here. In order to compare, we have to have the same units. We have 69 ounces here and we have pounds and ounces here. So let's convert our pounds and ounces to ounces so that we can compare. We know that in one pound, there is 16 ounces. So let's start by converting seven pounds to ounces. So in one pound is 16 ounces. So seven times 16 will give us our total number of ounces. So let's write this out this way so we can do the math. We'll do seven times 16 ounces in one pound. Six times seven is 42. So we place the two and carry the four. That comes out to 112 ounces, plus the extra two ounces we have here and we have a total of 114 ounces. We know that 69 is less than 114. Excellent. That completes this video on converting, comparing, and subtracting mixed customary units.